Hi there and welcome back to Icebreaker. I am Byron and we are still in East Haven because this is the second episode of the Let's Play and we are not able to get into this building. Awesome, let's try again. Yep, better. All right. Uh, but there's nothing actually in here. Okay, so we leave again. I'm on it. Oh yeah, we can Understood. steal a spear here. We do it. <coughs> and that's pretty much it. This is just a townswoman. She doesn't have anything special to say, so we leave her. Understood. Understood. Yeah, so that's actually it's the temple. Where are you? And there are several weapons located here, like on display. For instance, this one here. Uh, this huge warhammer looks as if it would take the combined strength of two men to wield it. Its thick steel head is bound with studded bronze band is, and is speckled with what appears to be dried blood. The inscription upon its stand reads Bonecracker. This magnificent weapon belonged to the legendary warrior Yumok the Fist, who died in the assault on Dragon Spear Castle. No shit. And uh, there are more weapons here. But I'm not going to read them all. Because I'm lazy. But I think we could talk to you, Initiate of Tempus. Agreed. Hello, my name is Akelia. I'm initiated here at the Temple of Tempus. I help Everard maintain the Temple Armory and perform rituals. Well met, Akelia. I'm Stormfireblade. You're an initiate in the Tempuran faith, eh? I didn't realize that the Lord of Battles was so popular up here. Tempus is revered a great deal by barbarian tribes up here. They call him Tempus. We immigrants see a lot of conflict and violence in these parts and people want to make sense out of it all. Barbarian tribes? How do they feel about the ten towns being here? It changes from season to season, from year to year, like all things. They are mistrustful of us immigrants and often view our settlement here as an intrusion on their land. Sometimes they trade with us, sometimes they war with us. Uh, sounds like a love-hate relationship, at least they don't try to kill you all the time. It's just part of our daily routine. We know the barbarians are just a few peaks away and we immigrants understand the danger that they bring into our lives. You say, we immigrants, where are you from? I am originally from Neverwinter. I came here to aid Battlelord Everard when the former war priest Renfield was killed in a battle against barbarians near Bryn Shander. Ouch, I guess those barbarians really don't like the immigrants too much. I think we already had that. Uh, it seems almost pointless to live in such harsh conditions. Aren't people afraid? It is actually part of a simple truth that we Baldurians believe. Conflict is all around us. Every man and woman has something that he or she believes in, which he or she will die to promote or preserve. Tempest tells us that we should live for something of importance. If we kill, if we die, the same. We preach that conflict and war are vital to mankind's existence. Hmm, I agree, even if you don't like the fact that it's happening, conflict is pretty inevitable in life. Exactly. That is why we as East Haveners practice the Tempuran faith and perform the rituals of the Lord of Battles. What rituals do you perform? Yeah, well, we celebrate the Feast of the Moon in remembrance of the Battle Dead. We also sing the Song of the Sword at least once at hand day. Because of the church's close proximity to the sites of so many great battles, our congregation also has, a, has local celebrations to remember all of the mighty conflicts that have raged across Icewind Dale. The most important daily ceremonies are the Feast of Heroes at High Sun and the Song of the Fall for the Fallen at Sunset. Uh, what are the Feast of Heroes and the Song for the Fallen? They're pretty straightforward. The Feast of Heroes is a meal that we eat at Tyson. During it we remember the final meal which each warrior eats before he or she enters mortal battle. The Song for the Fallen is a dirge we sing during at, uh, that, that we sing at sunset, as a daily memorial for those who have died in battle. Interesting, what locals battle do you celebrate? Uh, we celebrate the Battle of Jared Stone. I'll tell you more about it, but Everett prefers that any questions about it be directed to him. He has, a somewhat, he has somewhat of a different perspective on the teachings than most. Ask him uh, ask him about it if you see him. Uh, what's Everett like? 
Everard, well, Everard is still adjusting to his position here. I think he'd much rather still be serving Tempest on the front lines, but his duty is to guard his holy side, uh, the side of Jared Stone. You should ask him about it, he knows much more of the tale than I do. Everard is both a warrior and a priest, how does that fit into the Tempurian faith? Yeah, we already had that. Thank you, goodbye. Okay, then we talk to you. What's that here? This glyph for the doors uh, set into the floor appears to lead down into a chamber beneath the temple. There doesn't appear to be a way to open it. Oh, wait a second. I want to try something. For what do you need me now? Prime? Can I pickpocket you? Yes, I can. Oh, this time it didn't work. Oops. What do you need me now? Simple. Awesome. Again? Stay. Nothing to steal. Okay. Ready. I'm on it. Hmm. Rothgar mentioned there were strangers in town. What is it you want? I'm Storm Fireblade. Are you the high priest of this temple? Yes, I am Everard. Everard of Tempus, battle priest of the Lord of Battles. What brings you here? I come to show respect to your god and his worshippers, Everard. Still, there is not much battle to be had here in East Haven, I hope. War is but one of Tempest's aspects. Warriors, true warriors, worship him as well. You carry the scars of war, Everard. Were you wounded in battle? These eyes have seen battle, yes. And my skin bears the mark of swords and axes. That was long ago. Now my place is here. Why would you leave battle behind? Because there are many ways one may serve one's god. I am of the order of the Broken Blade. My duty is to watch this place. Order of the Broken Blade? They got areas sacred to Tempus, correct? Yes. We are... were... warriors. Wounded in battle, our injuries now keep us far from the front lines. Still... We are fit to guard holy sites to our lord. This is a holy site? It is sacred to Tempus, yes. It marks the field where the barbarian Jared gave up his life ages ago. He lies encased in stone beneath this temple. What happened? Well, actually we know what happened since we watched the intro. Jared was a shaman who lived long ago. He brought unity to the northern tribes and led them to victory against the army of Arakan at the cost of his life. How did he die? Once Arakan saw his army routed by Jared and the Northern Tribes, he sought to bring the Hells to his aid. Arakan opened a gate to the Lower Plains. He brought demons to the battlefield? The Northern Tribes would have been destroyed. I do not believe that. Jared did. It is said that Tempus himself appeared to Jared upon the battlefield, and Jared took that as a sign. A sign to do what? Jared believed Tempus was calling him to sacrifice himself for his people to ensure victory. And so he cast his body into the portal, his blood fusing it to stone. It lies entombed beneath the temple to this day. You don't sound like you agree with Jared's choice. Jared had no need to sacrifice himself. Tempus's appearance was a test of faith, proof Jared's people had already won the field that day. Jared failed his god and died a coward's death. But Tempus is known to appear to warriors who can dictate the outcome of battle, so perhaps Jared's death was not in. One dies for Tempus with a blade in one's hand, not by martyring oneself within the embrace of infernal magics. Jared's duty was to stand with his comrades, not cast himself to his death when the field was already theirs. Yeah, well, that's the point, actually. Was the field already there or not? The intro said it was not. Uh, and that, uh, you know, the humans were being slaughtered by the demons. And that only the sacrifice uh, of Jared actually brought victory. Yeah, his sacrifice may have prevented... Uh, his sacrifice may have prevented other deaths, Everard. Sacrifice? Let me say this of sacrifice, young one, then we shall speak of this no more. Sacrifice is a death that has meaning. When it is in vain, it is not sacrifice. It is a waste. That 
is the lesson of Jared's stone. And this stone is buried beneath the temple? Aye, a great stone disc that holds Jared's corpse for eternity. And so I watch and guard it in Tempest's name. I see. I had some other question I wished to ask you. You are free to ask, Traveler. I promise no answers. Do you know anything about the expedition that Hrothgar is putting together? I have heard of it, yes. A messenger from Kaldahar visited the temple not long ago, and it has spurred Hrothgar to see what is happening in the north. A messenger? Yes. A man from Kaldahar found his way to our door, and he was dead by morning. He claimed he was a messenger from the Archdruid of Kaldahar. What did he want? The man spoke of disturbances in Kaldahar. His wounds prevented me from making any sense of his words. Perhaps Rothgar understood more than I, for he's preparing an expedition. Are you going on this expedition? No, for my place is here. Were I invited, I would still not go. My injuries would only slow the expedition. I see. You are free to ask, Traveler. I promise no answers. I was wondering if we might pay our respects to the temple and perhaps receive some healing. And yes, you can, you know, get some stuff here, buy some stuff. Oh, I could sell that. Yeah, I get one gold piece, that's not really much. Nine for this. Oh, we got two healing potions, awesome. Um... Yeah, better than nothing. Hey. Here. Okay. That was the temple. Alright. What's that? Scores of knucklehead hang from these wooden racks. The stench from the dying fish drying fish is almost unbearable. Well, then get away from there. Nothing in here. Got it. Agreed. And nothing in here too. I'm on it. Oh, but there's a guy standing. Scrimshander. I'm on it. Or Scrim's hand, how do you pronounce that? Absol. Oh, thank the gods! Whoever you are, you picked the perfect time to wander by. I could really use some help. Uh, what seems to be the problem? A wolf somehow got into my workshop and is tearing the place apart. It attacked me as I was opening the shop this morning. I was so startled by the sight of the beast. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> it's been a long day. That I accidentally broke the key off in the lock while trying to get away. Now I can't even uh, get back in. Your shop, what do you sell? I'm a scrim scrimshander. Scrims hander? I don't know. I carve the huge bony skulls of knucklehead trout into fine works of art. Uh, this summer, uh, Southlanders will come up and buy my pieces to take back uh, to their fancy shops. That is, of course, if I get any work done. Damn wolf. What is it exactly you want me to do? I'd be most grateful if you could go in there and get rid of that stupid thing for me. Then I could back to my scrimshaw. Uh, of course, uh, you'll have to you have to find a way to get the door open first. Well, well, I will dispatch your troublesome hound shortly. I th I sincerely thank you. With the door to my job is just around the corner here. Please get rid of that demonic canine, can canine, 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 whatever, as soon as possible. Dog, kill it. Well, first we have to get in there. I suppose I it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. That's why we have you in the party. For lock Orders picking purposes. Done. To boldly go where no hoffling has gone before. And that is a wolf. No shit. Is everybody using ranged weapons? No. I'm here. I am your yes. Okay. You have my attention. Fire away. Keep for the shadows, friend. And the battle. And dead. That was rather easy. Got it. We get 120 XP Got for it. killing that one. Hi there. Ah, my friend, the wolf is no more. I am now a happy man. Thank you for helping me. You said something for your trouble. Thank you. I must take my leave now. Farewell. We get 1200 XP, 25 gold, and as Absol's dagger, it has a tech of plus one. It's, um, yeah, well, screw it. 
Give it to the mage, just in case she has to get yes. into a melee. Uh, but then she would be dead, so let's hope she doesn't have to go in there. Oh, take a look at that. There's a small box. And we get a winter wolf pelt. Okay, not half bad. I'm on it. And that here's the warehouse. Let's talk to the foreman. Got it. Good day, I'm Churin. How may I help you? Well, Madam Stormfireblade, what do you do here, Churin? Ah, uh, me? Uh, not, not much. Nothing much. I manage this warehouse here for the fishmonger, Gasper. I get paid a sum to stock scrimshaw and emergency food supplies here through the harsh winters. Well, that certainly sounds like it would be important in a place like this. What does the rest of Eastaven do? Well, most of them fish for knucklehead trout in Lake Dinnershare. It's not a rich living in terms of wealth, but living up here, a man can still lead a very rich life. Okay, see, so have you heard anything interesting around town lately? Well, spending as much time as I do here in this stuffy old warehouse, I don't get to hear much gossip. If you really want to know what's going on in these parts, I suggest you buy a few rounds over at the Winter's Cradle Tavern. You'll find that drinking and spinning yarns are two of East Haven's favorite pastimes. A tavern, eh? Alright, I'll try my luck there. Farewell. Okay, there's nothing else in here, I guess. You are just a townsperson, and you... too. Gotta go. I'm on it. So we almost explored everything. Oh yeah, we still gotta explore um the inn. What's that? A strange blue skinned woman. Say hi to her. This woman has the skin like the surface of the lake, light green hair and delicate features. Like that of an elf. At you, at your approach, she begins to sing a soft, flowing song, like the sound of a great undersea current. But you have no idea why the song reminds you of that. In a moment, the song and the feeling passes, and the woman looks at you hopefully. That song. Are you the woman that Jonan sees in his dreams? Jonan? Yes, Jonan. You are the woman from his dreams, aren't you? Yes, yes. Have your eyes fallen upon him? Do you know where it is he walks? Yes, I spoke to him recently. In the last video, actually. He sees you in his dreams, but he doesn't know what you want of him. What do you want? I am of the calling Elysia of the Sky's Mirror. My heart is Jonin's, but he cannot see me in the flesh, or else I will become as the currents upon the shore. A gift do I have for him, from one of his blood long ago, who also held my heart, but not as Jonin holds it now. Gift? What do you mean? Many reflections of the moon have con come and gone since the day in which uh, the warm of the blood of Jonin fell beneath the waters of the lake. He fought the last of the great white serpents that swam upon the northern winds, the queen mother Ikezerect, who now lies without life on the bed of the lake. A promise was made, and I must honor it. What promise? The one uh, from whom Jonan comes asked, I see his blade returned to those of his blood, if the queen serpent Ikezerect drank his life. She did, but not before he dealt her a mortal blow. From the depths of the lake I have brought the fire-shaped steel that ended her life. It is intended that it be belonging to Jonan now. So you wish to return the sword of Jonan's ancestors to him, but you cannot because the sight of you will make you stream away to water? Oh, that's a bitch, actually. It is one of the laws in the land plants beneath the lake's mirror. Will you give this to Jonan and tell him my heart? My songs are his. My heart is his. I will see it to it that this blade is returned to Jonan, Elysia. Here, then, I entrust this to your keeping until you, your path crosses with that of Jonan. Return when you have given it to him. I must know if it has found its way back to its home. I will return uh, when I've given it to John and Elysia. Farewell. And we gained an item, the Shattered Blade of Ihonan. Okay, so that means um, what? you're going to give it to him now. 
Done. Ready. Hey, get out of my way. Paladin coming through. May? Oh, greetings to you again. Forget something last time we spoke? Jonan, I think I found the reason of for those dreams you're having. Eh? You're not playing on a man's hopes, are you? I'd be grateful for just one night of peace. Well, the woman in your dreams is a sea spirit, Jonan. <coughs> her kind speak a through song, which is why you couldn't understand her. A uh, sea spirit? Uh, what does she want then? Why the dreams? Her name is Elysia. Speaking through dreams is one of the talents of her race. She speaks to you because she loved one of your ancestors and has carried a promise for him for many, many years. One of my ancestors? Welcome to me, then. Your features remind her of him, and your heart is as strong, if not stronger. She is coming to love you, but she cannot let you see her in the flesh. She wishes to give you something that belonged to your ancestor, if you would take it. Aye, I will. Of course I will. Sorry, it's... Well, it's a bit much to be laid upon a fisherman all at once. I, well, I'd be honored to accept anything she wishes me to have. Here you are, then. It's the blade of your ancestor. It's the blade your ancestor used against Ikezarek, the last of the white dragon matriarchs. It lay within the dragon's heart for almost a century at the bottom of the waters. Carry it well and know that Elysia loves you. Your dreams shall trouble you no more. And we get 1200 XP. By the spine of the world, even shattered, this blade is a wonder. But no more dreams, he said. I, well, I miss, I miss them actually. Her songs, beautiful, simply beautiful. I'll tell her, Jonan, farewell. And our thief leveled. Give awesome. the word. So we talked to the um, water elf again. Right. Have you found Jonan? Yes, and I returned the blade to him. You have my gratitude. Please take this, take this shaped piece of sand which I have taken from the bed of the lake. I have heard that those that walk upon land value such things. Thank you, Elysia. Farewell. And we get another 1200 XP. And a pearl. Okay. And there she teleports out. And our thief can level now. Oh yes. Um... See, um, no, where was it? Oh, here. I'm playing on core D&D rules, but I changed the settings so that when I level, I automatically get the maximum amount of hit points, so I don't have to save and reload again, like I did in Baldur's Gate. And I get to spend 20 uh, thief skill points. There, all done. Here. I think now it's time to go, um... I'll handle it. To the snowdrift in. And I gotta drink something. Yeah, the paladin is almost already there. <coughs> but the rest has still a little bit of a walk ahead of them. <clears throat> and in there. Where's the last one? Oh, there. Agreed. Greetings, traveler. The name's Quimby, and I welcome you to my im, uh, inn. <laughs> well met, Quimby. Uh, you seem rather enthusiastic. Ah, enthusiastic, yes. It is rare that I get any travelers at this time of year. Thus, I want all of my guests to feel welcome. <laughs> Well, do you have any travelers at this time of year? We do have one. Haha, -ha, his name is Everon something or another. He is an elf and an adventurer to boot. Well, if an elf and adventurer likes the rooms here, who am I to pass up the opportunity? How much, Quimby? And you could, you know, rent a room here if you wanted to, but we don't want to. We don't need to rest right now. We didn't do much yet, so get in there, my friend. What the fuck? Get in. So that's the elf. Uh, Ever and Blacksheaf. Well, my friend, I'm Ever and Blacksheaf of Evereska. It has been many moons since I have seen a friendly face. 
Despite the dreary nature of our current locale, East Haven is a welcome site for these urban eyes. Ah, hello, I'm Storm Fireblade. Tell me, Alvin, have you seen much in your travels? When I set out from Everesca, I was used to a peaceful life. I had no idea what wonders and horrors the life of adventure would bring to my ever-changing doorstep. I am glad I didn't go on the retreat 20 years ago. What is the retreat? The retreat is the gradual migration of the Telquist Seer to the Isle of Evermeet. It should only take a few hundred years for all of the people to m complete the migration. Until then I have decided to explore the rest of Faron. Do you know of any other adventures in East Haven? Yes, I have heard. The locals are forming an expedition into the Caldera Pass to investigate some problems there. I won't be going with them, though I may pass through the area. Uh, there doesn't seem to be much adventure around here, friend. You'd be surprised, the adventure can leap out at you in the most unlikely form and at the most unexpected time. Uh, thanks for the advice. Have any other information to share? Well, I haven't heard any rumors lately, however, when I traveled through Kaldar, I had a strange feeling about something in that valley. It's more than just the weather that bothered me. Something seemed to miss in the mountains, the trees, even the clouds in the sky. Something was out of place, something was wrong. Now that you mention it, something does seem out of place. I can't quite put my finger on it, but yes, something's been odd about the weather. Be careful in our travels, farewell. So okay, Simple. let's see what we can get here. Well, nothing actually, because we can't reach it. Hey, it's locked. No, it isn't. It's a skydrop gem. What is? No, only you. Yo, I guess. Again locked. Money. Oh, there's another um, chest of drawers. But this one is empty. I'm listening. Okay. Let's I'll go. handle it. So that, my friends, was the snowdrift in. Not much to see here, actually. Agreed. Okay. It's another end of the map. Help! Monsters! No oh, shit. Quick! We've got to go to get Hrothgar. There are monsters in town. They almost ate me. Whoa, slow down. What are you talking about? Monsters! A whole bunch of them. They came down the shore while I was fishing. I dropped everything and ran when I saw them. But they didn't chase me. I thought they were going to eat me. But I guess they were just after my fish. Uh, where are these monsters now? Just over the bridge, down by the lake. My dad told me not to fish so far out by myself, but I can't help it. That's where I get catch the big ones. He's gonna kill me when he finds out I've lost today's catch. All because of those stupid monsters. Don't worry, we'll deal with those thieving monsters and get you your fish back. And we have another quest. Kill the monsters, get the fish. We should be able to do that. Oh, the monsters are goblins. So we kill them. Let's spill some bread. I said kill them. Fire! Thanks. Take your sweet time. You have my attention. Fire. All right. Okay, screw yes. it. You want a taste of this? Quick, quietly goes the blade to its work. Are you? I see. Should go back. What? Keep to the shadows, friend, and the battle will be won. And the last one is that one. Ah, oh, dang it! Ready. It's trying to get away. Here. You will be well to feel what's the rest. Crows. Would you be able to kill this one? Thank you. So, I'm on it. what do we get? Ok, 
Okay, lots of battle axes. Okay, so that's probably uh, what the boy wants. Knucklehead trout. Looks like the goblins already eat the fish. Orders understood. Oh, they have already eaten. Yeah, probably more like that. Okay, so there's nothing here. I'm listening. Let's return to that bridge then. Help, monsters! Yeah, I know, I know. Don't worry. We dealt with the situ situation. You're back! Were you able to get my fish back from those monsters? Ah, today's a lucky day, boy. Here's your fish, at least what's left of it. Thanks! I'd best be getting home now. My dad's probably worrying about me. Farewell. And one more, uh, 1200 XP. So we have some items that we can sell at Pomaps Emporium now, uh, but it's still a while till we level 100 more for the fighter. Oh, dang it, the mage. Yeah, yeah, in the beginning of the game it really takes a while till the mage levels. This will balance out later. Get in there. Agreed. Hi I would like to buy it, or rather sell something. So 250 for the Winterwolf Pelt is not half bad, but just one gold piece for the Battle Axe. Okay, I'm not, and one for the Dagger, I'm not going to pick that stuff up again. 100 for the Pearl is okay. 20 for the Giant Sky Drop Gem is not so good actually, okay. So I'm going to buy a scroll case a gem bag and a potion bag uh, thanks to the mod the ease of use mod i'm using uh, those are actually um, they can carry uh, contain an unlimited almost unlimited amount of items hey bye Going to buy a few more projectiles for everybody. Now oh, we have money. Okay, and I think it's now time to leave East Haven. I'm on it. But I guess I'm going to do that yeah, in the next video. It's time to call it the video now. So, well, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!